Hi, this video tries to explain how to import Synthi characters into Godot. Synthi Studios create high quality game assets and uh, right now they're on sale and we try to export a, a character from the Sci-Fi space pack into the Godot game engine. They don't directly support Godot or Blender but it works nevertheless. So to do that we need to export the character from Unity, extract a specific character in Blender, rig and animate this in Mixamo, add animations with Godot game tools and import this into Godot. So let's get started with the Unity export. We need to extract the character from the package with the FBX exporter first. Uh, with the FBX exporter it's important that you choose um, the binary um, export format because that's what Blender can read. Also uh, put the textures folder next to the FBX after this export so that Blender can find the textures. First we need to import the FBX file in Blender. Once we do that, we see that the pose is messy, uh, so we need to reset the pose. To do that, uh, we need to find the um, pose entity in the inspector. Once we find that, we can reset the position. So um, the position, the pose is right now, but we need to extract a specific character. Um, one way to do that is to go to the material view so that we see the textures and then we select all the meshes and hide them with H, with the H key. Now everything is hidden and now we select the character that we want to see. In this case, this is the female captain and then we unhide this. And now we need to select the mesh and with the mesh selected, we go to export FBX and um, make sure that we um, uh, select selected objects so that this gets exported as uh, Captain FBX in this case. Next up, we want to auto rig and animate our character in Mixamo. Mixamo is a service by Adobe, it's free, but you need to sign in. Once you did that, you can select from uh, characters and anim animations, but you can also import or upload your character. We do that by dragging and dropping uh, our exported FBX into this dialog. This will take some time. And now the model is in T-Pose and to get the auto rigging started, we need to place the markers, um, as it's explained in this dialog, onto the specific positions uh, onto the model. Once we did that, um, we can select next and then uh, Adobe will start the auto rigging process. Um, and this takes some time too. So once that worked, then you can see your um, character in the auto rigger. It looks a little bit strange, but we'll fix that in the Godot game engine later. And uh, to get some animation onto our model, we, uh, we select some. I, I go for the um, sitting and laughing animation um, first. So um, once we find that in the dialog, we can apply this to our character and we can see that this is working nicely. So now we can download the animated character. We can leave everything in as the default in the settings. And um, while we are here, we want to also download a um, locomotion pack because that's a number of uh, animations in one zip file um, that, um, that we can apply to the model later. Now we want to extract all of the animations uh, in the zip file. The animations are in, in FBX files and uh, these can be imported into Blender later. To do that, we need to install uh, Godot game tools. You can find these on itch.io where you can download them for free, but I think it's, it's worth the money, but for now we can download them for free and downloading them gives us a zip file and this zip file 
contains the Godot game tools as a Blender add-on or Blender plugin. And to activate this, we go to File, uh, sorry, Edit Preferences, uh, Add-ons, and then we install the zip file that we just got from itch.io. And, and then we only need to activate this so that uh, Blender can find the plugin. Hitting the key N, we find the context menu of the Godot game tools. And then we go to character utilities and armature. And then we initialize the character by selecting the um, uh, sitting laughing FBX. Now we have our character in here and now we want to join the animations. Uh, this was the animation pack that we just downloaded from Mixamo. So we go to the folder and select all the FBX files containing the animations. Now you can see that we successfully imported them by going to um, the animations tab. And then you can see that the animations are there and you can even preview them by playing them. That's about it. So the last thing to do would be to export the, um, um, the animation uh, DLTF actually. And we do that by giving the character a name and you kept them rigged in, in this case and uh, select an export folder and you can leave everything else as the default and this will export a GLTF file uh, to your file system. You can see that it takes some time um, to export this and you no don't necessarily see that, so give it some time. Once you have the GLTF, we can go to the Godot game engine and import this. So we start with a new project, uh, browse to, to the directory. Um, we, I call this uh, captain in this case as, as the project. And then um, create the folder, create an edit. Then we should be in the Godot game engine. We create a 3D node. 3D scene so that we can uh, place uh, the character and um, to place the character, actually to import the character, we switch to the folder and copy the Captain Rick DLTF into the project folder of the Godot project. Once we switch back to the engine, um, the DLTF file gets imported and we double click to new inherited. And then we can see that the model is there in the t-pose but it looks wrong we need to fix that to do that we go to the to the mesh and um, in the mesh we go to um, the, we edit the mesh and in the mesh there's a uh, surface and this surface has a material and this material needs to be edited and then we have to go to vertex color and um, use albedo and we disable that and now everything uh, looks okay. So with that fixed, we can see that we have um, all the animations in there. So if we go to jump loop, everything's working. And if we go to um, the T-pose loop, which is um, the, the, the main loop, in this case, it's the laughing and sitting loop. So we're done. So we successfully imported a Sinti game character with various animations into the Godot game engine. So go ahead, make games.